I suppose that's some sort of a joke, is it? Whale of a time. You know, it's becoming more and more regular these days that people are opening their mouths without thinking or researching. I'm intrigued. Have you ever actually asked the whale how it feels? You seem to use this idiom so flippantly, so naturally, that I can only assume you know the whale personally. Didn't think so. You see, the saying may have been first recorded at the end of the 19th century to describe something as jolly. However, nowadays, with the rising sea temperatures, the whales might actually feel like they're bubbling away in a briny broth whilst we all tuck in our napkins ready for some whale soup. Would you be happy? if your name were on the menu. Would you be having a whale of a time? I think the whales are perfectly within their rights to change their mind about how they feel. In fact, this injustice of animals in our everyday slang is borderline discriminatory. Maybe the elephant doesn't want to stand out in the room. Maybe he wants to be seen as an equal and blend in. Maybe the pony has more than one trick up its hooves, and the cat wants to stay safely inside the bag. We must do something about it, now. No more horsing around. We must take the horses more seriously.